It's time for our awesome Crash Test Dummies competition now, where we have chosen four schools as finalists uh, to see if they are daring enough to head up to Rainbow's Inn and check out the top secret new ride there. Now, we have made them come up with their very own challenges to prove to us that they are worthy of visiting uh, and trying out this new ride. So let's go and visit Firth Primary today because their game involves guns and grenades. Let's check it out. Well, I'm hanging out with room five now and they are just starting to get ready for their challenge that they're going to show us for their crash test dummies test. <laughs> um, and I've got Benjamin and Tisha here who are the class leaders and they're going to tell us a little bit about what we're doing today. So what is the challenge that you guys are going to show us, Tisha? Well, the challenge is called machine guns and grenades. Mm -hmm. And the challenge about it is that you're blindfolded, so you can't see anything. Whoa. And and there's a set of eyes that direct you, so you got to trust them, and trust them really big time. Yeah. Otherwise, you might crash into someone. Yeah. It would, Does that sometimes happen? Do people sometimes crash into um, each other? I don't know. Not since we've played it. Yeah. yeah. So your class must just be really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> at trusting each other yes. and stuff. Yeah. 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 I consider it very good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, cool. So Benjamin, um, who actually came up with the game and stuff then? Um, Miss Curtis last year at camp. She went with a few, uh, with most of the SXs last year. Yeah. Cool. And so did you guys sort of adapt it from there and make it your own a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of ideas did you guys come up with? Putting the tin foil over the blindfolds. Okay, what, is, what does that do? Why do you um, do that? Because some of the blindfolds like there's some parts that you can see uh, oh, yeah. through. Yeah, true. And then it just makes it fear for everybody because otherwise uh, somebody could just go and look through one tiny hole and get everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Very good. So what do you guys actually use for the machine guns and grenades then? Uh, we use the cricket sticks for the machine guns and the tennis balls, tennis balls for the grenades. Yeah. Nice. Good. Alrighty, well I'm keen to check out this game, especially because everyone's been playing whilst we've been doing this interview. It sounds very exciting, so let's go and find out a bit more. And... go! Go forward, 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 right one, right one, forward, forward, Well, room five at first just did such a cool job of that challenge and I've got a few people to chat to now about what they think the ride will involve at Rainbow Zen and things. So what were your names? Tia. Yeah. Marikina. Cool. What about Corey. You? Irene. Awesome. So how did you guys feel the game went? Pretty good. Yeah. What do you reckon is like the hardest part of that game? Um, trying to tr go get the thing, uh, the machine guns and the grenades because it's pretty hard to know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have you ever seen anyone bang into someone else or trip over or anything like that? I think I banged into one person once. <laughs> oh, I think I saw you actually. We, I think um, your team was trying to get you to grab it and it was like really close to you but you couldn't see it, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was very interesting. How did you feel the game went? Pretty, pretty weird because you can't see anything and when you open your eyes the the beanies really fuzz your eyes. Oh yeah? Now Corey you have come up with some ideas of what you think the ride could be at Rainbow's Inn. What do you think it could be? Um, I think it's going to be a ride that you can go on and you would go um, upside down and do a full 360 in the air. Really? That's cool. That's got that's lots of detail in there. <laughs> Amazing. Do you think it will be quite scary to go on? Yeah, if you yeah. go upside down. Oh yeah, definitely. Might make you feel sick or something. How do you think you would be going on a scary ride? 
Um, I think that'll be pretty awesome. Yeah? Are you good with getting frights and things? No. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hate getting scared as well. <laughs> it's not that good, no. eh? So um, what do you guys reckon then, other than what like that awesome idea that Corey had, what do you think could be the new ride? Uh, I kind of think the same as Corey. Yeah. Because, like, it's kind of freaky and, yeah. like, and you might, like, um, spew up or something because <laughs> yeah. it's quite scary. Yeah. And then it goes around and then it makes your stomach feel funny. Yeah. And why do you reckon your class would be good crash test dummies for us then? Because we've um, been learning about this and yeah. um, playing the game that we've always played before. Cool. And we just figured it out before Mrs Curtis um, went to camp last year with, um, with the last room five and yeah, it was a pretty cool game. Yeah, it was a really cool game. I'm glad that we have learnt all about that now. But thank you guys so much for showing us that challenge. Good luck in the competition and we'll see if they're the ones coming to Rainbow Zen with us soon.